Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for another quick build. The winner from last week's voting in quick builds was in fact actually Kha'Zix, but because a build just came out for him two days before this video, we're going to go ahead and go to the runner-up, and that was Udia. So, what we're going to do with that is go ahead and cover a quick build for him. If you want to see a quick build of a certain champion next, go ahead and leave a comment down below for the champion you want to see. Um, if somebody else already listed him, just thumbs up that one. So, the ones that have the most thumbs ups will be the champion that I do the next quick build over. First thing we're going to do, though, with this is go ahead and cover his runes and his mastery, so let's dive on into those. As for the rune page that I typically take when I'm playing as the Udir, this is for the jungle, by the way, we're going to be taking the attack damage marks, armor seals, magic resist per level glyphs, and then we take the movement speed quintessences for that ganking. As for the Masteries page, I actually like to kind of run him a little bit tankier because he's very, very hard to kill and still puts out a handful of damage. So what we're doing is we're taking a 0 21 9 page, 21 in the defense, picking up everything going down, you know, getting all that extra health. We get that armor, we get the increased magic resist and armor for nearby enemies and we're just going to take less damage there we take a little bit in utility and we get increased time on our buffs which is really really nice on him for not only ganking and having red up but blue buff is allowing you to use and spam your abilities while you are jungling as for Udu's abilities, there's actually many, many ways you can max this out, kind of depending on your play style and how you like to play him. Lately, Tiger Stance has kind of been the way to go with him. Previously, Phoenix Stance was your way to go, and maxing that out first was really good for lots of AoE damage and just really good damage in the early game. Tiger Stance since then has been changed and is a lot stronger now too, I believe. So a lot of Tiger Stance Udu games have been happening. What I would recommend maxing out is maxing your Q first nowadays and getting your Tiger Stance Eater going. Um, if you want to run the Phoenix Stance, that's good too. Usually, this is just completely situational to the player. I would honestly say that these are his two strongest things to offer, Phoenix and Tiger. Turtle's good though if you're going really defensive. We will be building Udyr fairly defensively, but with some damage in mind. And then Bear Stance is always important to get because of stun and the speed up to get and catch up to people. So. There's lots of ways you could do it, but personally for this build, we're going to be maxing out our Q first, followed by our Phoenix Stance. Don't forget to obviously put a point into your Bear Stance and your Turtle Stance to use those, and then we'll probably actually be maxing out Turtle Stance just because the big shield is really nice to have. As for the items I like to take when I am playing Udyr in the jungle at level 1, we'll be busting out that Hunter's Machete and those health pots. We'll be heading over to whatever buff you want to take and then whatever buff you want to take next so you can gank whatever lane you want to gank. Amazing how that works. But those first few trips back, what you're probably going to want to do is pick up that Spirit Stone, the Kindle Gem, maybe Boots of Speed, aka Boots 1, and some Cloth Armor. What we'll be doing with that is building it into the Spirit of the Ancient Golem. All that health, cooldown reduction also helpful, and then health and mana regen. Uh, very good on him. You kind of get this beefiness and you're very hard to kill because of it. Um, then you're also going to pick up the Ninja Tabby because you get the tenacity with the other one. And this way you'll get the armor and you'll get to take that less damage from those basic attacks. Now depending on how you're doing, if you're ahead, get that Triforce. Tons of damage comes from it uh, realistically on him because you can switch in between your abilities so often that you're going to always be proccing the sheen on it. So very good item. But if you're falling a little bit behind, you need a little bit more survivability, go ahead and build towards a giant's belt. Or if it's the magic that's getting you, you can always build towards the Negatron Cloak. What we're going to be doing, though, with the build overall is picking up, of course, the Spirit of the Ancient Golem, those Ninja Tabby Boots, pick up that Triforce, Build into a Randuin's Omen gives him a lot of survivability and makes him even harder to kill. And it helps him chase really well because of the unique active. And then take some Magic Resist and build that into a Spirit Visage, giving him more cooldown reduction. So increasing the ability to switch between um, your abilities more often. And then you get more health, Magic Resist, and you get the health regeneration, just keeping you alive and helping you survive. Now, I didn't even put a last item because I think it's ridiculously ridiculously situational. I'm going to give you my top six of those situational ending items for Udyr, of course, and that's going to be the Blade of the Ruined King, helping you increase your damage and with more attack speed, helping you hit more and some lifesteal. You can also pick up the Wit's End. Works really, really well on them, especially if you need more magic resist. It gives you that attack speed and that bonus damage that you get. A Zephyr, not a terrible choice. That increased movement speed and cooldown reduction will now have you maxed out at max 
CDR at 40%, you'll have more attack speed and attack damage. Um, a Ravenous Hydra is great if you want a lot more attack damage. It helps proc on that Sheen really well. The life steals there and health regeneration too, which is going to team up really well with that Spirit Visage. If you just want the Guardian Angel for Magic Resist and Armor and the ability to come back to life, that's really annoying to fight through because with the items above, you get a lot of health out of them and you're very, very beefy with some damage from that Triforce. And then if you want to help the team out, the Locket of the Iron Solari, never a bad choice. But that's going to be a quick build for Udyr. If you have any questions, put them down below. If you want to vote on a champion for the next quick build, just leave a comment with that champion's name. Or if somebody else listed a champion you want to see, go ahead and thumbs up that comment. And that's who we will do for the next quick build. But other than that, I'll just see all of you guys in the next video. Doing after we uh, kill Thresh and start heading towards Morgana. We do have Sivir coming across though the map to try to join us for this fight. I am unfortunately going to run into Lee Sin, um, and he's going to kind of block off. Now what he does is he overcommits here. He doesn't see the rest of the team, so we're going to be able to close in on the Lee Sin. He's not going to be able to, to escape as uh, we just finish him off. Karma is going to pick up the kill. 